if you set a row with three columns and you place an image overlay block in each column, how can you set the size of each image to be the same for all three? And I'll show you what I would do in some considerations. Um, the tricky thing about making images all the same size is that um, unless they're the same size when you start with them, uh, then you have to you kind of have to crop them or um, you have to mess with them a little bit and some of it won't show. Basically, if you have an image that's very wide and you're trying to make it all three of them look the same and they're more like a square, then um, some of it's going to get cropped off. And you'll see what I mean as I attempt to do it. Okay, uh, my short answer will be consider using the image ratio feature of the image overlay block. And let me show you. So on a page of my site, I have this cadence. I mess around with cadence blocks. So here's a page. I'm going to add what you're asking to this page. Okay, so I'm on my cell phone Wi-Fi in a bit of a remote region. So it's going a little slow. But here we are. Okay, so here is here's the row over here, and um, I'm going to insert a row in front of it. Insert row. Insert above. Insert before, actually, and add a row. Layout. I'm going to make it three columns just here, and then I'm going to add an image overlay into each. Uh, there it is, image overlay. And let me select an image from my library. I'll take one that's wide. It's a picture of me over here. Well, this one's a square, actually. So we'll select the square one. It's 1200 by 1200. I'm going to add an image here. An image overlay, I should say. And I'm going to add more of a horizontal image. So I have one here, this one. And then I'm going to add another image. I don't have any um, tall images because I, I design mostly for desktop and phones. And images that are square or wide, meaning horizontal, um, they're good for both uh, desktops and cell phones. When you get really tall images, um, they, they can be good on phones but not really good on desktops. Um, so it can be a little tricky, but hey. Uh, let me just pick out a third image here. Let me see if I can quickly find a tall one. Yeah, I don't really do tall ones. Let's just check this one. No, this one. No. So I'm just going to pick up this one and select that. Okay, so here we have three images, and the two on the end are squares. And you can see the second one is more horizontal. And if I update it, update this page and have a look, you'll see that they're not all the same size. And... Um, it's not as clean looking as you might like. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go check it out. See, it's like this. In fact, I should widen this up a bit. Let me just widen the row. Make sure you have the row selected so that when you go to the um, width, you can make a proper. Make this 1100. And um, so the, the, the main solution I'm going to suggest is either you make sure your original images are all the same uh, ratio, you know, the um, width and height. You know, if the width is twice the height, then make them all twice the height. Um, that's going to be one easy way to make sure that they're all the same looking. The other suggestion I will have is to use something, the, um, if I click on this image overlay block, if you look on the right, there's a user ratio size instead of the image size. If you click that, it'll force the ratio of the image to one of these. And the, the starting one is one by one. So it forces the image to fit in a one by one square by basically making the image bigger and it's cropping off the left part. Or I should say it's masking it. So it's, you, you don't see the stuff on the right and left. So you see this guy, you don't see him as much anymore. If I don't use that ratio, it uses the whole image. You can see the guy's face. But for practical purposes, it's okay. I don't see his face. The image still uh, serves its purpose. A person on a laptop, which is the point of that image. Um, so if there's point parts of your image, like towards the edges, that are important for the image, then um, it, it may get cropped off and it may not look right. As you can see, all 
three of the three of these images look good because you know the essence of the image is still showing. Um, and there, are, so I forced the second one to a one by one square. The other two are already a one by one ratio, meaning the width and the height are the same. So it'll so it'll be um, so it'll be fine. The two on the ends. Oops, don't know what happened there. Let's just reload it. Um, my, my internet's a bit wonky at the moment. Um, and here you are. So now they're all the same size. So those are the considerations at hand. Try using the image ratio, and you can try. You can select other ratios. You know, and let's do a three by two, three, three, three wide by two high. That's a, another common dimension that I use. Let's make them all three by two. And you can see now they're all the same size. Let's show you three by two. So maybe you want it that way. And let me go here and refresh the page and show you how that looks. Okay, so maybe you want something like that. Lower on the page, I have a section I was messing around with. You know, three services I was I'm offering or is going to offer: design a new site, redesign a site traffic building and here in these three columns um i have an icon i have a button i have some text and then i make sure the i the columns are the same height um but i guess i'm not going into that in this video anyway the main thing in this little helpful video is to consider the ratio button to make the image ratio button to ratio size button or setting in the image overlay block to get them the same size. I hope this helps. Post a question if you have. And uh, if you find something better or ideas to, to even do better with your image sizing, let us know.